Ah, hi everyone. This is Donna Schuler, Robert Schuler. My husband will be joining us for Vital Living Monthly in just a minute, a few minutes actually, after I do the preliminaries. He is on his way to the airport in South Korea after attending a uh, quite a large prayer gathering. If you happen to see the photo I posted earlier here on uh, the Robert Schuler Ministries Facebook page. So uh, for those of you that are on the call, I'm not sure you can hear me when I shrink the window. So I'm going to bring you back on now and then uh, just a minute. So um, welcome to the call, everyone. This our excuse me, Vital Living Monthly used to be the call. We've been doing this for seven years. It's always on the 15th of every month. It's always at 6 p.m. And typically, my husband, Robert Schuler, uh, is here to join you, Pastor Schuler. And I'm Donna Schuler. And thank you so much. This is a telephone church service that is also available, Facebook Live, and also available through free conferencing. So uh, if you're on the conference call right now, or if you'd like to be on the conference call, if you're on Facebook, you can call us at 712-770-5605. And then there's a uh, uh, code that you have to enter 642848. Typically, I'd put that up on the screen. But we have all these mirror images. And since I am actually broadcasting from my laptop and not my cell phone camera, nothing is backwards everything is the way it's supposed to be so i tested these signs and it's, it's a little interesting so uh we're gonna start out with a prayer because this is a church service so won't you join me for just a minute and then we'll uh, read scripture and we'll get right into talking to my husband robert schuler from um on his way to the airport <laughs> in korea so uh let's pray Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, the many blessings. Thank you for um, the, the fact that you've called us to be people of peace. You set us aside, Lord. You teach us to look for the good, for the peaceful, for the resolution in every situation, Lord. Sometimes that's really tough to do. But with you and through, through our prayers and through our relationship with you, Lord, it makes it a lot easier. We just thank you for being so accessible to us. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to read a scripture. And um, I'm going to read I'm moving my screen around a little bit here. I'm going to be reading a scripture out of um, Romans. It's interesting. We've been reading a lot out of Romans lately on Sunday morning. And now um, for Vital Living Monthly, um, this is from the epistle or the letter that St. Paul wrote to the early church in Rome. And, and it's the purpose of this book is to emphasize that um, reconciliation with God or relationship with God is really based um, through salvation in faith, not works, but faith. So here are these words starting from, they're selected verses actually, whoops starting Romans 14, uh, well, Romans 14, starting with verse 10. You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Why do you treat your brother or sister with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, every tongue will confess to God. So then, we will all give an account of ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling book, block or obstacle in the way of a brother or a sister. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and mutual edification. And we know that God will continue to bless this and I lost the people on the telephone, so I'm going to try to call them back right now. Uh, because the number you are dialing is outside of your you can plan this. and will incur a one cent per minute charge if you continue. I can handle that one cent You can hang minute. up now to avoid the charge. <laughs> Just wait a minute here because we won't be able to talk about it. This service is provided by preconferencing.com. You can listen Please to this enter your access code okay. followed okay. by the pound. Okay. This menu will... Here we go. And Access code accepted. This conference is being Robert. recorded. You back, Robert? Hello? 
You back? Robert? Are you there? Hello? Robert, I don't hear you. Oh, maybe he's the one that got caught off. Cut, cut off. Makes sense because he's in a, a van or a bus on his way to the airport. So um, I was just reading out of Romans, and it's interesting we're talking about peace. Um, I actually uh, titled this um, little recording today from Vital Living Monthly, Peace Begins With You. And it's really, um, you know, peace has just been part of our ministry and our life for so many years. Are you back on, Robert? I am. Okay, I'm good. I don't know what happened. Both, you got cut off. I got cut off. Scripture. Yeah. So I finished the scripture. the scripture. It went blank. Yeah. So, so anyway, unfortunately, here I am. <laughs> unfortunately, the only people that got to hear the rest of the scripture were those on Facebook. So. Uh, the last line of the scripture was, let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. So, you have some music. Do you have music going on there? It sounds like something's in the background. Some music. A music oh, box. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually in the lobby waiting for the bus. Okay, well, hopefully and, that uh, music so isn't copyrighted or will be knocked off. <laughs> no. You know how that is. Uh, so um, we need to talk yeah. to you. We need to talk to you because we may not have you for a while. You may get cut off again. So can you tell us what you've been doing in South Korea? Just tell us a little bit about it. We're not taking questions tonight because of the logistics of having you there, okay? So tell us what's going yeah, on. So, I, I, so I, I left California on, on Monday morning and arrived here in Seoul, Korea, on Wednesday evening. Right. Or, no, Tuesday evening. I'm right. sorry, Tuesday. Okay. So, so, so then what we did is we we met for the first time uh, in a um, conference center, really close to the hotel we're staying in, mm -hmm. and there was probably two to three thousand people in wow. that event, and um, we talked about how we can. Uh, pray for uh, the reunification of the peninsula mm -hmm. because we believe that that is the number one key way of resolving permanently mm -hmm. the, the, the problem that we have in the north. Uh, it reminds me of an illustration that I used to use for, for uh, health and wellness where, where an illustration is you're sitting by a stream bank and you see people floating down and you run in and rescue them. Pretty soon you see somebody else floating down and you rescue them and rescue them. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon you say, where are all these people coming from? What's happening? And you then decide you're going to go upstream, find out that the bridge is gone and it's morning signs up so wow. no people don't fall on the stream in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so by unifying the peninsula, what we're doing is we're putting the we're fixing the bridge so that people don't fall in the stream. Uh, that's the only way for us to really take care of the persecution in the north is to unify this peninsula so that there and create a, a, a new Korea and a, and a new governance that will that will work for the entire populace of of the Korean Peninsula. Wow. Okay, so how bad is the persecution? What uh, I think you were meeting with pastors, you were meeting with uh, people that did you? You met some more defectors. I know we've met them before over there. People that escaped that horrible, horrible existence. So what? What is? How well, bad is it? What is? What is the? What is the fate of these people over here right now? Or a lot of the people? Well, first of all, the, the South is is very guilty of. of uh, hang on just a minute. Uh, I'm going to hop on the bus here just to ride. Oh, okay. But, uh, well, hopefully you'll get away no, from that well, horrible music. Me. That music is really I think I will. kind of overpowering your really voice. <laughs> oh, okay. So here I'm going to get on the bus. It looks like i got the whole bus to myself. Oh, I'm that's good. Quiet. I'm glad. Yeah. We don't have to put up with conversations yeah. oh, in, <laughs> so in a language I'm, most I'm of us don't understand. Just, so yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Go ahead and explain what you what you were saying about the um, 
the situation of the persecuted, not just Christians, but persecuted yeah, so people. The human, so, bye -bye. Bye. so the human rights is, have a ticket, ticket, yes. They're taking tickets, okay. <laughs> Tell them you're on a conference call in the United States. Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, so I, I want to make sure. I'm back and I think there's no annoying music. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is quite something. I've got this giant bus all to myself. <laughs> Good. So can, continue <laughs> to talk. I'm afraid we're going to be disconnected again. <laughs> As you start moving, I, don't think so. I think we're, I think we're, we're okay. Okay, so but, um, back to the persecuted here, Christians. So here it is: <laughs> the, the persecuted in the north is extreme because there's no religious freedom, mm -hmm. and as a result of that, people like our friend Kenneth Bay, who mm -hmm. was the longest held American hostage in North Korea, was held hostage because he, according to the government. Brand new key judge said that he was the most dangerous and heinous uh, individual because of because of he was promoting the good news of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which is a complete threat to the to the government of uh, Korea. Right. That Korean government is a religion. It is a cult. Mm -hmm. They have the ten. They have they they have taken the ten commandments. And where the first commandment is, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. It is thou shalt have no other, thou shalt have no other uh, religious, no other leaders besides Kim o, Kim wow. Kim and that's wow. the way the whole Ten Commandments read. Mm -hmm. um, and it's almost identical to our Ten Commandments. So they have created a cult, wow. a serious uh, in, in, uh, cult that has empowered these people into their beliefs. So it is no, it is no surprise, understanding this, that that people like Kenneth Bay have, have served an extremely long sentence. Mm -hmm. I also met a gentleman who, who was in uh, prison for even longer than Kenneth Bay. Really? He was there about fifty days longer. Yes, he's Kenneth Bay is the longest held American. American, exactly. I was going to say Canadian. Wow. He was a Canadian. And uh, what did he do? He was he the same thing Kenneth Bay did. He was just sharing the good news of Jesus. And oh, wow. uh, so you've got it, it's a really serious situation because the one of the, the number one human right violations that, that the North is is practicing is the uh, is the removal of the freedom of religion, even though it is in their own constitution. So it's a it's a real serious situation. Then then they have, in addition to that, they have uh, different sex. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Different sex, as in S E C T S groups. Honey, you kind of, oh, you now you're back. Now you're back. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, different, I'm sorry. They have different groups, so different what I didn't sex. Realize is this this uh, bus is stopping at several different places. Yeah, I hear, people, people, gonna be I getting, hear people coming okay. on. Just ask them to be quiet, please. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, be quiet. We're, <laughs> yeah, be quiet. We're, we're on a conference very, call. This is important stuff. So, so but, but anyway, um, what, so what happens is, depending upon your race, mm -hmm. uh, or, or your ethnicity, or your uh, or your family, will determine the priority of whether you, whether or not you get fed. Wow. It's that serious. Mm. So so in addition to to religious persecution, you have racial because that's sort of basically comes down to even though there's all Koreans. Mm -hmm. it, 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 if you're not, you don't have the right family. You don't have the right race. You're not the right. You're not. You so don't have the right, right bloodline. To get so it's that. a caste system inside so, what's already pretty horrific. It, it's clearly a caste. Mm -hmm. system. Yes. I hear that. Wow. Exactly what I'm saying. So, so, so there's no freedoms mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, as far as 
being able to to have economic freedom. There's no economic freedoms. There's no religious freedoms. Uh, there is um, uh, there is a system that of, of there is a legal system which is which is not due process. Mm-hmm. So if you're convicted of something like war beef, of, of stealing a poster, mm-hmm. uh, the the oldest form of of uh, of law, uh, and basically the beginning of law goes back to the Magna Carta, uh, where where there's there's all these things that's listed, and according to the Magna Carta, is the punishment is is in relation to the to the crime. Mm-hmm. Clearly, for stealing a poster, amazing, uh, for disgusting, stealing, yeah, a, a poster should not be death, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which is what Warmbauer, Warmbauer actually yeah, I know. received. He received a death penalty mm-hmm. for stealing a poster. Maybe a, a couple nights in jail in the U.S. That would be considered uh, extreme. Uh, but to spend as much time in jail as he did for stealing the poster is, is, is absolutely uh, that. That goes back to the to the 13th century. We're talking. Uh, oh, Almost, you know, almost, so, uh, almost a thousand years ago. That so was what can, so Robert, yeah. so what can we do? I mean, first of all, this should make everybody listening to this feel extremely grateful that we live in the United States of America, most of us on this call. Okay, who's talking now? <laughs> this is quite challenging. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a, there was a, yeah, there was a speaker going off. Okay. Probably me. Okay, <laughs> but we should be extremely grateful because we live in the United States or, you know, some of these people on or and a lot of people that will listen to this on podcast afterwards and on Facebook and YouTube after we post it. Um, you know, most of us live in free countries. Um, what can we do besides pray for these people? Uh, what should we be reading? What should we, what, what should we be aware of? Because we can only do so much here in the United States uh, to help with the situation. I mean, clearly, like you said in the beginning of the call, this is something that has to come from supernatural power of praying over this situation, uh, praying for uh, reunification of the two Koreas, North and South, because for those of you listening that haven't been to South Korea, South Korea is booming, blossoming, uh, very, you know, very successful culture that people are free they're you know they're very much like we are they're very westernized if you want to call it that now and um they're technically more advanced than us i mean south korea is an amazing country and yet right there part of their own country was split in half and they still have relatives people still have relatives up in the north or some of the relatives have escaped years ago and have now died but uh, there's a lot of history there of people in the south with their connections in the north so what can we do what 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 can we do robert well number one do not underestimate the power of prayer right the divine intervention is clearly important uh the one of the one of the technological hopes is actually the cell phone. Mm-hmm. There's now one. There is one cell phone in North Korea for every eight point five people. Oh wow, that's a so, lot. Yeah, exactly. There's three million cell phones for twenty four wow. population, twenty five million. So as a result of that, cell phone. It doesn't have you don't have the same protections with a cell phone as you do with a with with other forms of technology. Mm-hmm. So as a result of that, the word is getting out as to what what is going on and their the plight that they they live under. Uh, and so as the the veil is is split open mm-hmm. and the truth is revealed, uh, the eyes are opened and. I believe that ultimately there will be a revolt from the inside. Uh, there will be a coup that is successful, and the, because people people are people, mm-hmm. uh, human. The, the the innate human instinct is to.
to 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 improve their life, and part of that that improvement is human freedom. It's, it's human existence. It is human decency for others. It is peace, not war. And we have, as as a as a human species, as children of God, uh, this innate intelligence to seek and to desire this. And the more we pray, the more we ignite this, and the more we have the ability to to see this happen. So I think that the prayer is is very important. Second of all, to to under just just be educated understand what's going on mm-hmm. and realize that that this will pass this kind of behavior will not live on forever right uh, i am convinced that in our lifetime that uh, which for donna and i is probably about 40 years uh, so. <laughs> that, that we will see this path and i, I don't think it's going to be 40 years i think it's going to be in the next 15 years that we will see some kind of resolution within the peninsula of Korea. So whether or not the country of Korea uh, and the unified peninsula is, is, is becomes closer and more aligned with China than the United States, that mm-hmm. could be. Mm-hmm. But there's worse things that could happen. We would prefer seeing it more aligned with the U.S. than, right. than with China. But but it's better. Anything's going to be better than what exists today. Yes, that's true. That, that's what we know. Well, I'm glad. And so we want you to definitely keep that in your prayers. You know, I'm glad to hear you say that to be educated. And you know, one of the things I know both of us have always tried to stress through our ministry is that you know God loves those people over there every bit as much as He loves you and I. And everybody's equal Absolutely. in God's eyes. And you know, it was uh, part of what I read in the scripture today in Romans 14 was to not treat your brother or sister with contempt, to not have the attitude, you know, Americans supposedly have, you know, fewer passports than, than anybody in the de- per capita than anybody in the developed world. I mean, most of us don't travel a lot. Well, you and I do, and we have our whole marriage and, um, But people that don't travel, I think, have a tendency to think that we're the end all and the greatest thing in the world. And just to be reminded that, you know, St. Paul here reminds us that make up your mind not to put a stumbling block in anybody's way. Don't judge people. Don't, you know, don't pass judgment and make every effort to live in peace. And isn't that what Jesus tells us to do, too, to just live in peace with our brothers and sisters to accept people to always look for the good in people you're not always going to get it but always look for the good in your neighbor in your loved ones in your family and i can tell you one thing for sure you're more likely to get the good instead of looking for the bad and the negative because if you look for the bad and the negative you're going to find it if you look for the good you might still find negative in some people but you have a better chance right of finding the good and the lovely and the peaceful and and all the wonderful fruits of the spirit in people if you treat them like they're that kind of a person so um yeah just just don't pass judgment on people i guess that's that's why i chose the scripture tonight and it's, it talked about peace and not passing judgment and just having open hearts and that goes into educating yourself of what's going on over there so so thank you robert um you know I don't know. Well, that was well said, Donna. Thank you. Is there anything else we want to say? Otherwise, I'm just going to talk about, how about I, I'll take a break and just talk about our ministry a minute, and then we'll come back to you, and you can say some closing words for us, maybe in a closing prayer, okay? How's that? Absolutely. Love to do that. Okay. So, uh, ministry update. Uh, Robert's in Korea. How about that? He's on his way home. Uh, Let's see. We go a week from Sunday. We'll be back down at our church our uh, Corazon Chapel in San Jose del Cabo. We have a beautiful place down there. If you want to look at it and see what it's like, you can go on Facebook on The Gathering SJD. That stands for San Jose del Cabo. And that's on the tip of the Baja Peninsula. And we're involved with 
a lot of great people down there, a lot of expatriates. Um, and also our service is starting to grow with the locals down there because we're in such a beautiful a beautiful chapel. So um, that's we're excited to get back down there on the 20, Sunday the 25th of August. And, uh, you know, we just, we have a lot going on. We have a surprise coming up probably, hopefully by next month we can, we can uh, talk about what you're, what you've been working on, Robert. Um, and, uh, hopefully that'll be, yeah, I think we can. that'll come to fruition in the next month. Uh, I want to ask everybody to please keep us, the Robert Schuller Ministries in your prayers. We've been through a lot of changes with our online IT help. Once again, it seems like it's just very difficult to uh, get this ministry uh, and keep the ministry on the right track, although we've learned so much in the last year. We are, um, you know, we're still doing our Sunday morning service. We hope you'll join us 8 a.m. and then again at 6 p.m. every single Sunday. And then, of course, it's posted in between. So if you can't join us on Sunday, it's about a, it's less than a 30-minute church service. So it's really pretty awesome. We do it outside because, of course, we have a church with no walls, and this Vital Living Monthly is part of that church with no walls, too. So we are like a church, though, in that we only survive on donations. Robert and I don't have salaries. We don't do anything else besides ask for donations. So just like a church, if you feel called to help us and support us in any way possible, there's no amount of money that's too small, and, of course, no amount's too big. Um, but you can text. This is backwards. See, this is what I'm saying. Oh, wait a minute. Is it backwards? Yeah, it is. Uh, so you text our initials, RDSM, that's Robert Donna Schuler Ministry, RDSM2. The number is really easy, 555-888. You can text give that way, or you can write to us, and we get, a, you know, we take donations this way. I think this is back. Oh, no, you can see that one. Okay. Robert Schuler Ministries, uh, 2128 Bay Point Drive, Newport Beach, California, 92660. And I'll leave that up a second longer for those of you on Facebook. And, you know, we just want to thank you because there's lots of people that join us on this uh, conference line uh, and have for years. There's people that support us financially. Again, we can't do what we do because this is what we've been called to do. We've been called by God to just, you know, we're not going to get rid of all the negative stuff online, but we're going to do our best to dilute it. And that's what we do. We, we, we share the love of God through Jesus Christ with the globe and you know it's great that we live in a world that where we have this um, technical you know ability to broadcast live and to talk to Robert from Korea I mean it's pretty amazing so um, I don't know Robert I'll let you close yeah, it, it really and then, what a, what a blessing it's amazing it just amazing and so I want to thank everybody that supports us and uh, and if you don't want to support us financially, please just pray for us. That's the most important thing, like Robert was saying. Don't ever underestimate the power of your prayers for us. We really, really need them. And share, and share, the, share the word. Like yes, share. Please share. Please like our Facebook page. I know that sounds silly, but we actually get rewarded, not financially, but we get rewarded in other ways through Facebook and also on YouTube, Robert Schuler Ministries YouTube. If you haven't subscribed there, Please go on there. As silly as it sounds, it actually helps our ministry grow if you do that simple thing. Take it away, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so here I am cruising through the streets of Seoul when I'm talking. To well, take another picture. Absolutely. Take a picture, and when I post this, when we get off in a minute here, I'll post your picture or video. Okay? Okay. Do a picture. I will do that. Okay. Yeah. So okay. You might see my shoes in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. And the street. But, but uh, I'm not going to do it now because uh, what I want to do right now is just thank everybody for, mm -hmm. for your support because I couldn't be here without it. I couldn't participate in this, um, in this conference without your support and your help. So uh, I just am very, very grateful for that. And I want you to know it makes a big difference. Because I have a long history with the, the churches here in Korea. Uh, my father and I came, started helping the churches here in the 70s. And uh, as a result of that, there's a lot of respect. And, and because of my participation in that, we're able to bring a lot more people to, to these events than, than would happen otherwise. That's great. So, 
God's using you still. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so it's a so it's really important that I have the opportunity to do this. And so again, I just want to thank all of you for for helping make this possible. That's right. And uh, so, um, what I want to do right now is is just just have a moment of prayer with you all. And uh, so, wherever you are, you might be in a bus in Korea. <laughs> you 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 may be sitting in your home in in Florida or or Nevada or Canada. Uh, no matter where you are, we're, we're together through this technology, and as a result of that, we can join together in prayer. And I don't think it necessarily needs to be physical as much as it needs to be spiritual in that we are connected together because God said, well, two or three are gathered together in my name. And we have gathered together through Facebook and through this call in the name of Jesus to pray. So we are gathered together and we come to you, O Lord, right now and we pray. We pray, Lord, that your power will break through the chains that prevent people from experiencing your love. That you will break through the through the, the what appears to be unbreakable chains, and that you will snap them like a thread, that that the people of North Korea will find the freedom they need to be able to have uh, an existence of freedom, of joy, understanding, and have an opportunity to discover who you are, not who some ruler is, not who's, who's not not not. Uh, some despot who is who is creating havoc and pain, but the the pure love of God through His Son Jesus. And so open our eyes, O oh Lord, bring healing and wholeness to our to our lives, to our families, and may we come to the realization that with You we can do all things. Mm-hmm. So we love You, Lord. We praise Your name always and forever. Amen. Um, I just want to thank everybody for joining us for uh, this month's uh, Vital Living Monthly. We do this every month on the 15th of every month. Typically, we have a guest, but it was just a little hard logistically, and I thought you might all want to talk to Robert or listen to Robert. You can't talk to him. But um, next month, we'll be back to having a guest. So remember, um, if it's the 15th of the month, it's time for the call, which, well, it's not called the call anymore, but it is a call, Vital Living Monthly. And we'll be back with you on September 15th at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So remember, God is blessing you always through all things. Right, Robert? And, and I promise, and I've, and I've, yes, I promise that no matter where I am, Six at, at when it's six o'clock Pacific time, I'm gonna be on the call. I'm gonna be on my Living Monthly, and uh, here's a perfect example. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've been doing this seven okay. years, and we haven't missed, yeah. and we've been around I a lot. Missed one yet. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay. 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 Love you, God Robert. Bless y'all. Okay. Fly safe. We'll you see you. Too. I guess tomorrow night here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I have nothing to do with it. It's all in the hands of, of the pilot, the hands of God, and the hands of the pilot. That's right. And I'm confident that uh, it will that there won't be any issues whatsoever. Well, so have fun and watch there. a lot of movies. Okay. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry, I thought I signed off. Okay, well, I want to save it. Hmm. 
trying to figure out how to save this. If I end it now, it says I can't save it. Hmm. All right. Want to save this. Sorry, everybody. I'm not trying to hang in here. I'm just, I put in the live video, event logs. I definitely want to save it. Hmm. In this, you will be, you'll be able to choose if you, oh, I'll be able to choose. Whoops. 